The Pointer Crate Demon list, a list of the most difficult rated levels that have been legitimately beaten, has had the same level in the top one position for a year and nine months. Except for like a couple months when the Golden was considered harder, but let's just ignore that. For 21 long months, Tartarus held the number one position and was considered the pinnacle of difficulty in the game, with many trying to dethrone it, but failing in many different ways. Today, we're going to look at the levels that tried to push the difficulty of the game further than it ever has. The race to dethrone Tartarus. As of making this video, Tartarus is no longer at the number one spot. In fact, it is currently sitting all the way down at number 4, having 3 rated levels being considered more difficult. Oh, and that level that I briefly mentioned before that was considered harder for a bit, it's at number 7, so it's very clear that there's been a massive push to increase the difficulty of the levels in the game, but due to some of these levels taking hundreds of thousands of attempts to beat legitimately, it's not until now that someone has beaten a level harder than Tartarus. Something else I want to note is that I'm going off the Pointer Crate Demon list, which places only rated levels. If a level is rated, it's officially endorsed by the creator of the game, Rob Top, meaning that the level has to be a certain standard of quality and gameplay. So some levels like VSC might be harder than Tartarus but aren't rated, so I won't be talking about them in this video. So let's look at some of the different projects that were projected to be harder than Tartarus. Much to my surprise, the first level that had serious potential to dethrone Tartarus was Silent Circles. This level is a remake of an old Impossible level, something we'll see quite a lot more of with the other levels in this video. The original level was made to be absurd and humanly impossible. And actually, I could, I could probably do that. The final preview for Silent Circles was posted in July of 2019 with a rather threatening intro. An estimated everyone will die tonight. This would go without a verifier for a long time, however was eventually given to Dolphy, the legendary player who had verified Tartarus itself. This verification was given in March of 2020, and after a number of buffs, is still being verified by Dolphy to this day, with the most recent progress video being released four days ago as of writing this script, with progress of 70%. So because of this, the level hasn't been beaten legitimately and therefore can't be placed above Tartarus yet. <laughs> Deimos. No, the other one. No, the other one. There we go. <laughs> the Akira Karisu version of Deimos is one of the three sequels slash remakes of Phobos, a classic 1.9 extreme already well known in the community despite its uh, questionable decoration. This sequel was projected to be top one and was being verified by a top player, Swyborg. However, over time his interest in the level died down and so did his progress. His last video on the level was uploaded in July of 2020, well over a year ago, with no progress from anyone else since. Another factor that might have played a role with this is one of the other Deimos is being made, which was considered the official sequel to Phobos, leaving less motivation for wanting to beat this version. Because of this, Deimos still remains unverified. Can we just take a moment to recognise how much of a banger this song is though? <laughs> On its own it's alright, but being used as a sequel to Phobos, it keeps the spirit of the original so well, but still stands on its own two legs. Ah, oh, I, I love it, I love it. Either way, the Akira Karisu version of Deimos has still yet to be verified, and therefore hasn't been the first to dethrone Tartarus. This is yet another sequel to an already existing level, something we'll see a hell of a lot more with these. Anemesis was made as a sequel to Athanatos, a 2.0 level made back in 2016. This, once again, was to be verified by Swyborg, with this being his verification project he took on right after Deimos. He picked up the level in July of 2020, however, unlike Deimos, wouldn't go on to stop making progress, and in fact did a live stream playing the level yesterday as of writing this script, with his latest progress being 33 to 96. However, by this stage, it's being advertised as a top 3 demon, which at the time would have put it well below Tartarus. Therefore, this level likely won't dethrone Tartarus and certainly hasn't been the first to do so. So Koopin Circles has a pretty similar backstory to Silent Circles. It's a remake of an old Impossible 9 Circles level with the original being made around the same time as Silent Circles. Unlike Silent Circles, however, this redecoration was made only after serious progress had already started to be made on the original by people like Cursed, who managed to get 69% before the remake was finished. This meant that the verifier was obvious, Cursed, who has since made significant progress such as 36 to 100 on the level just 4 days ago as of writing this script. Okay, since writing this script, Cursed actually drops to Koopin Circles after getting 36 to 100 twice, and now Sakupin Circles once again is left without a verifier. Similar to most of the levels on this list, it is still yet to be verified, and therefore cannot be placed above Tartarus on the list just yet. 
Now this is a level I'm sure almost everyone watching this has heard of. If you thought Phobos had a lot of sequels, oh boy. <laughs> Sonic Wave is a 1.9 level from 2015 that was comparable to Bloodbath, one of the most legendary top ones of all time. Nowadays, Bloodbath isn't even considered to be in the top 200 most difficult levels anymore, while Sonic Wave is still sitting at number 55 on the list, showing just how difficult this level was for the time. Of course, like a lot of top levels back then, the verification was hacked, and there was a long verification rate, but to summarize, no! Because of this, there are so many remakes of this level, and even a whole list has been made, listing 14 levels, and that's not even including all of them. There are currently 4 Sonic Wave remakes on the list, but Sonic Wave Infinity stands out from the rest, being leagues ahead in difficulty. Zanny took on the verification of this project, and unlike the previous two mentioned, this one was actually beaten, taking 6 months, 60,000 attempts, and one blessing from Among Us. That's not even a joke. This level was in the works for a very long time, with the creators, AP Team, releasing the final preview in July of 2020. And although this level was projected to be placed in the top 1 spot above Tartarus, it was placed below the Golden in the number 3 spot, only to be moved shortly after to the number 2 spot. Ever since, it is down the ranks to number 6, still above the Golden and below Tartarus. Alright, so going from this point forward, we have all the levels that were very, very close together in the race to dethrone Tartarus, and it seemed like it was anybody's game at that point. So because of this, I'm not going to mention the final outcome until after I talk about all these levels individually. Firework was a level finished literally 5 days before Tartarus was verified, but definitely had a long way to go in terms of verification. Dolphy, once again, would eventually start trying to verify this project in November of 2020, while still undergoing the verification of Silent Circles. Because of this, just one month later, he would end up dropping it, and after it switched verifiers a couple times, it ended up in Trick's possession. As mentioned before, we'll go into the final results of this in a few minutes. This level felt like it came somewhat out of nowhere, however it was released back in October of 2018. It was clear for the time though that this level was way too difficult to be beaten by everyone. I mean, just look at that wave space, ugh. But against all odds, legendary player XN managed to- uh, oh wait, he hacked it. The level remained dormant for a really, really long time until everyone started digging up whatever old projects they had laying around that could potentially dethrone Tartarus, and therefore the level started to try to be verified again. But because the level was made in 2018, the decoration was not really up to today's standards and thus a redeco was started. As far as I'm aware, this redeco is still an ongoing project, however it has had the same gameplay and the verification is happening on the old version. Arcturus was another level based off an impossible level, however this time was only from 9 months ago, in February of 2020. This level was then nerfed to a top 1 state by the original creator, MaxFS, in hopes that it could then be rated. There was a little bit of controversy around whether this level was rate worthy however, as it was only a minute long which is considered the bare minimum for a rated level. I mean not so much these days, but you get the idea. But along with this, a good portion of the level was just black screen, that being 16 to 20%, 71 to 74%, and the whole last 7%, equaling out to about 50 15% of the level being absolutely nothing but black screen, meaning only about 51 seconds of actual gameplay, with the gameplay being almost exclusively wave and ship game modes, testing only a narrow portion of the player's skill. Slaughterhouse is an old 2.0 level made by Havit- oh wait, wrong level, sorry. Slaughterhouse was a level projected to be top 1 and was based off half an old impossible level by Ice Cave made a number of years ago, that was recently finished as a mega collab on May of 2021, just 6 months ago. Because this level was considered impossible, it was nerfed a little bit, however nowhere near as much as Arcturus. However, similar to Arcturus, there were questions about whether this level would be rate worthy, as some of the decoration and gameplay is… questionable. Alright, now that you're familiar with Firework, Arcturus, Slaughterhouse, and Abyss of Darkness, we can get into the final push to dethrone Tartarus. At this point, these were the main levels going head to head, all projected to be harder than Tartarus, with the only thing standing in their way being the daunting task of verification. I want to cast your mind back to 6 months ago. At this stage, Dill's Thick, the verifier of Abyss of Darkness, had already had progress of 18 to 195 percent on the level, and it was clear he was going to verify it very, very soon. However, progress started being made on the competitive levels, such as Ultra Cower getting 31 to 100 on Arcturus, and Trick getting 60 percent on Firework. Nobody had made serious progress on Slaughterhouse at this point. Abyss of Darkness was well ahead of the race at this stage, and it was clear that it would be the first level to dethrone Tartarus. After this, however, progress on Abyss of Darkness seemingly slowed 
leaving room for the other levels to make progress. Trick was steadily making progress on Firework, getting runs of 24 to 82, 49 to 100, and 69 percent. The verification of Slaughterhouse around this time was very mysterious and messy, so as far as I can find, no serious progress was made. Along with this, Ultra Cower seemed to not really be making any progress on Arcturus either, so all of a sudden, Firework seemed the most promising. However, going forward a few months, Dills Thick got a very unfortunate death at 98 percent twice. This led to an incredible amount of demotivation, and rightly so. He had been playing the level for about a year at this point with about 190,000 attempts. That's already some serious dedication, just to be shot down right at the end twice. So as a result, he unfortunately dropped the verification. This gave the other players in the race a good chance to be the first to verify a top 1 level. It was around this point where the player slash YouTuber Doggy took up the Slaughterhouse verification, where he quickly made progress of 51%, putting it in the runnings for a potential new top 1. Along with this, Trick was still making steady progress on Firework, getting a new best of 91%. Right behind this, Ultra Cower picked back up with making progress on Arcturus, getting new best of 49%, 63%, and even 88%. And therefore, once again, the tables turn, with Abyss of Darkness being in a very uncertain state, Firework looking the most promising, closely followed by Arcturus, and more progress being made on Slaughterhouse on the way. But then, in August of 2021, Ultra Cower HD did it. He verified Arcturus. Oh, okay, I verified it. What? The first level of the fall was verified, and unexpectedly, it wasn't Abyss of Darkness or Firework. But after the verification, the question of if the level should be raided was brought into question. As said before, many don't believe the gameplay or decoration is up to standard, and that it shouldn't be raided. And as time went on, the level remained unraided, despite being sent to the developer Robtop a number of times. This led to the general opinion that the level was unfortunately not getting raided. From there, there were three levels left. Firework, Abyss of Darkness, and Slaughterhouse. Doggy ended up quickly dropping Slaughterhouse, which was left without a verifier for some time. The unnerfed version was left as an open verification, similar to Tartarus, meaning anyone could pick up the level and try to beat it, as opposed to only be given to one person. Eventually, a revised version of the level was given to a select few people to race to see who could verify it first. Abyss of Darkness was picked up by Zanny, the verifier of Sonic Wave Infinity, and after about a month or so, Zanny managed a run of 52 to 100, along with 32% from zero. Along with this, Trick got a run of 24 to 100 on Firework. At this stage, the final contestants were clear, Abyss of Darkness and Firework, but I think the community knew that Firework would probably be verified first. But then, Slaughterhouse would finally be given another verifier, Space UK, a top player who had been rapidly rising the ranks, beating Rosaretta as his literal fourth demon. What? My fourth demon was like Totu, come on bro. <laughs> Small amounts of progress were being made on Firework and Abyss of Darkness, when out of nowhere, Space UK verified Slaughterhouse in only 40,000 attempts. Oh. <coughs> oh my God. I can't fucking react otherwise I'm gonna cough so much. This absolutely shocked the community and his reaction was equally as shocking. <coughs> Once again, questions started flying around whether the level was rate worthy and it remained unrated for a few days until literally six days later, firework was verified. I verified it! I verified it! Oh. I verified it. After almost a year with the level and 234,000 attempts, Trick verified Firework. This puts it into perspective how out of nowhere the Slaughterhouse verification was, as 40,000 attempts is just a fraction of what Trick spent on Firework. But the biggest thing above these levels getting verified was Robtop decided to rate all three on the same day. This was a monumental event for the community, as three levels all projected to dethrone Tartarus, a level that had been in the number one spot for a year and nine months at this stage, were all rated, ready to be placed in the span of just a few days. Zanny was still going with Abyss of Darkness, however unfortunately the rating of these three levels led to demotivation, as his potential top one project was potentially a top three to four. Despite this however, the three levels were placed on the list, with Slaughterhouse in the number one position, Firework number two, and Tartarus number three. And Arcturus was placed at number four, right below Tartarus, so it wasn't even harder than Tartarus at all. Don't get me wrong though, it's still a massive achievement, and it should not be undermined at all. And to this day, it still remains that- oh wait, what, what is this? Another level harder than Tartarus that I didn't mention once? What's the deal? Chuafet was a level created not with the intention of dethroning Tartarus. The level was finished in May of 2021, being a mega collab hosted by Cycle. It was predicted to be a top 5? 
with Cycle explaining the description that he wasn't 100% sure about the difficulty, and also wasn't sure about the verifier at the time. The level was quickly verified by Beiru in July in just 20,000 attempts, with their personal opinion stating that it should be placed at number 6. The level was placed at number 3 on the list at the time, behind Sonic Wave Infinity and above the Golden. However, after a few victors, it was claimed to be harder than Tartarus and was then placed at number 3 again, after Slaughterhouse and Firework were added to the list. Because this level was placed in September, before Slaughterhouse was even verified, if it were to be placed with today's opinions back then, it would have been the first to dethrone Tartarus. So although Slaughterhouse and Firework were the first two levels to dethrone Tartarus, the real victor in this race came in the most unlikely of places, a level projected to be somewhere in the top 5, underrated until it was too late. The true victor of this race was Truefit. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's kind of like a new kind of style. I'm trying, just like kind of scripted and I guess more of a documentary style thing. I don't know, I've always wanted to make a video like this. I have a couple ideas, so let me know what you thought of this video. Um, they're probably going to be kind of few and far between compared to, you know, the regular types of videos that I do at the moment. But yeah, I really enjoyed making this. I spent like a whole morning writing the script. I just didn't take a break. I just, I just wrote out the whole script. I really, really enjoyed the whole process of it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching the video as well. And if you want to see more videos like this, I mean, please consider subscribing, you know, if you're watching this far into the video, surely you enjoyed it enough to, I guess, potentially leave a subscribe. I don't know, up to you, of course. But anyway, I think I'm going to end this one off here. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I really, really hope you enjoyed it. It's a lot more high effort than my normal videos, but I think that's all right to do from time to time because it's like really, I guess, fulfilling to release videos like this, and hopefully it performs pretty decently as well. Not 100% sure, we'll see how it goes, but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'm going to end this one off here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.